What's going on, guys? Sin Chow. So I'm coming to you today from what has honestly become one of my favorite cities in the entire world, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, formerly known as Saigon. I'm here um, training with Jeff Chan at the MMA Shredded Fight Camp. One of the best things about these fight camps is meeting fighters from literally all over the world. We've got guys from Europe, from Asia, from the Mideast, from the States, from the UK, like literally everywhere. And uh, one of these fighters that I met, I have the privilege of really meeting, is named Aaron from Germany. He's a really seasoned MMA veteran, and he owns two gyms out in Germany. Now, I'm not going to even bother trying to like put the name together of his gym, but luckily for us, when we jump into the clip that I filmed with Aaron, he's going to tell you the name of the gym. Listen, if you guys are in Europe, or if you guys are planning on being in Europe, Anywhere around Germany, I highly recommend trying to get over there and train with him. The guy is a fountain and a wealth of knowledge. One of those guys that Danaher talks about where you meet him and he really just kind of leaves a lasting impression on you. I'm really, um, really excited to have been able to train with him. So I'm doing this prelude because I did a uh, quick interview with him, a quick clip, quick, wow, get it together, Will. Quick clip with him, but it was loud in the gym. It was noisy. It was, um, we had just done a bunch of clinching and rolling and stuff. So I wanted to make sure that I really hammered his points across before I put this clip in there of me talking with Aaron and interviewing about what he thought the best strategy for a fight, whether that's on the street or in the cage, would be. Um, we were talking and I'm putting together, helping to put together a strategy for my friend who's fighting soon professionally over here in Southeast Asia. And we were talking about the best strategy. And he said, you know what? He had a student once that was training for maybe six weeks with him in MMA. And there was another gym that came in. And it wasn't really like a challenge, but they were going to spar with this other gym. And this new guy said, I want to spar too, right? And the guy was like, Aaron was like, bro, you've been training for six weeks. Don't do it. And the guy was like, no, 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 I'm going to do it. Aaron was like, bro, you're not going to do it. You're going to get hurt. Don't freaking spar this other guy from this other gym. Like, you're crazy. The guy was like, no, dude, I'm going to spar him. And finally, Aaron was like, all right, man, like, it's on you then if and when you get injured. Like, I told you so. Like, don't do it, right? So he sat down with the kid, and he goes, all I want you to do is throw straight punches, one-twos, and front kicks. <laughs> Literally, that's all I want you to do, right? So stupid, so simple. The funny thing is, it fucking worked. Like, it fucking worked. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> So I really want to just reiterate to you guys that, especially on the streets, keeping it stupidly, deliberately simple is a lot of the times the best strategy. He literally told the guy, throw a front kick, and if the guy comes in at you more, throw a jab. And throw a straight right, and then throw a front kick. And then throw a front kick, and throw a one-two. All I want you to do, the kid actually won, all right? Six weeks of MMA training against another guy, and Aaron said the guy was looking pretty, right? He was technical. He was moving around. He was angling off. He was getting some good shots in, too. But in the end, this other guy literally laid him out with straight front kicks and ones and ones and twos. That's all he did, and he ended up winning it. So really cool story, and I want you to enjoy this clip that we filmed with Aaron. Listen to what the guy has to say. One of the... One of the coolest guys I've, I've talked to about martial arts and listened to in a long time. He's really helped my MMA game. Literally in like probably an hour total of talking with the guy, he's like helped me level up my MMA game a lot. So enjoy, guys. Um, and again, his stuff is going to be linked down in the comments or in the description below. So if you're anywhere around Europe, if you're planning to be there, definitely hit him up and get in touch. I know I certainly will be next time I'm in Germany. All right, guys, enjoy. I'll see you next time. Cheers. All right, what's up, guys? We're here with Aaron today from Kampfsportschule Leipzig, Germany. I wasn't going to try to say that for a second. And uh, Aaron has some really awesome, great stuff to show us as far as striking ability. So I'm going to just give it over to you, bro. Yeah, I just uh, gave them both the introduction. If you have no serious idea what to do, and if you're just a beginner, don't try to concern about too complicated techniques, don't circle around, to f uh, don't fuck around. Just concentrate on one or two things. Important thing is create pressure, push the other 
the other guy backwards all the time. Doesn't matter how, how you do this, by walking, by punching and kicking, by creating aggression, changing rhythm, something like this. But don't be the guy that always does this. This needs a lot of time and effort. Some guys can do it well, but if you start it, maybe it's better to create pressure. Of course, he needs more energy for walking backwards than me to walk forward. First thing. Second thing, yeah, when I have a guy whose clinch is maybe strong, who can knee, elbow, who has a lot of weapons in his arsenal, yeah, fuck him, I don't want to find out. Just try to knee me, try to elbow me, and just, sorry, and just stay here, stay long and strong and low, even with easy tasks. And when I couldn't come to this side, maybe he has hit me, maybe I'm hurt a bit. Now I go to the corner, oh fuck, before I go to the corner, I switch and I ambush him and go to him by full step technique. So my full step technique is usually crossway, where the leg is backward, the arm is forward, like Jeff showed us, where the shoulder really is extended. Now I it's the second time. You see, it's really, really long. When I just punch here, punch here to my face, it's no big deal. Punch to my face. See, I extend it by a long way. Even if I don't hit you, I load up something at the end on the sequence to stay aggressive. So we won at least one competition with this. This guy was doing a couple of uh, sessions only, no martial arts experience prior. You just do this thing, song, thing, song, thing. It's war for like two push kicks, jab and cross all the time. Mix it up. Just wait. When he pushes me, sweep me, please. Maybe I fall, stand up. I have no damage taken. It's fine. Continue push kick, fine. Thank you. Any questions? No, man, thank you so much for the explanation on that. Guys, remember, if they're going back, attack, attack, attack. So, great illustration of that. Thank you so much. Thank you.